Hey guys, this is Rye123, and today I'm here with another scripting tutorial, and today's suggestion, suggestion comes from JRVGHD. He says, I need to add something to my game. He has a friendly spawn, a raider's spawn, and a neutral spawn. So what he wants to do is that everyone spawns on the neutral team, and then he wants to know how to put a menu on the screen where people can choose their team. So... Let's go ahead and jump into the studio and we'll do that. Okay, so here we are in the studio. And as you can see, I've set up three spawns. The neutral spawn, the blue spawn, and the red spawn. So, go ahead and let's click on the neutral spawn just to make sure that this is where the players will start out. Um, so you come down here and you click neutral. So this means that no matter what players will always spawn in on this um on this spawn yeah that's what it's called um and then on the red and blue one you're going to make sure you're going to want to make sure that um both of these are unchecked unless of course you want them to be able to change teams by touching the spawn but i figure if you have a team select gui that you probably are not going to want to Okay, so now we have to get to work on actually um, building the GUI. Now this is the part that will probably take the longest. So in the video, I am probably going to spe either speed this up and talk over it, or if it doesn't take that long, then I'll just play through it at a normal speed. So first of all, of course, we're going to need our screen GUI, which is basically a GUI holder. And then we're going to need three yeah let's just do three text buttons there you go we're going to call this one um title this one red and this one blue and you'll see um, the reason we're using buttons instead of label like for the title is because buttons are just easier to work with in my opinion. Um, I don't exactly know why. So let's go ahead and let's move these um, to about the middle of the screen. So that's usually 0.5 and then on the Y axis you're going to, for the, um, for the, um, <clears throat> for the title button, you're going to want it about, let's say, 0.2-ish. There you go. And we always want to work, when we're sizing and moving um, GUIs, we always want to work with the scale instead of the offset because people have different monitor sizes, and if you work with the offset, it some monitors will really mess it up. So X is how wide that is y is so let's do like point zero five or i mean sorry it's z yeah point zero five comma zero i think Did that work yep so as you can see there's our title um you can mess with a lot of the other stuff like the font and the font size later but for right now, I'm just trying to leave as much to the default as possible. Choose team. I don't care if that's not how you spell choose. But anyways, so let's go to the red button. So we want the red to be right underneath the, well, on second thought, I'm kind of lazy. So I'm just going to delete these two. Copy this one. Why didn't you go in there? And then just paste it twice. So that way I don't have to mess with the sizing again and only the positioning and the text. So the red one, we want below the, the, <clears throat> sorry, we want below the title. So we're going to go ahead and go into the scale and just um, mess with it a little bit that looks okay see it puts it about right there um, so then we're going to come down here 
to the text options and we're going to change it to let's see this is red and just for so we can keep track let's change the background color to red I know you can mess with the text color too so that it will actually show up but for now like I said I want to keep this fast and simple so then let's change this one to blue let's move it down to 0.4 and then let's change it to the the text there we go so now as you can see we have our GUI set up almost in the middle of the screen just tweak the scale a little bit and you'll eventually get it where you want it like I said GUIs are um, frisky business um, so then what you're gonna wanna do if you don't already is you're going to have to set up two teams inside of your teams folder and normally if you place a colored spawn it will do that for you and all you have to do is rename them but um, sorry but if they aren't already there just click on your team service come over here and just add a team so next thing you're gonna wanna do is come into the team services and make sure that the auto assignable is not checked or else it will make them spawn as that team and we don't want that because we have a neutral spawn okay so after you have your GUI set up there is one more thing you're gonna want to do um, instead of having just this spawn point be neutral we're actually going to have it be a team so you are going to uncheck neutral inside of its properties come down here and you're going to make a new team and call it like choosing I still don't know if that's spelled right I never know no I think there's only one L. Uh, but that looks wrong because I forgot the E in it is there any I don't know whatever this is just a tutorial you can work out how to spell stuff <laughs> um, and then you're going to click medium stone gray which is this one I think yep so now this is actually assigned to the choosing team so next you're going to come into the red button and I've already set up the script for the red button but you're going to need our usual player variable which is just script dot parent times four and then you're going to need our on clicked function backed up by this and all this will be in the description as usual and so you're going to first change the team color of the player and then you are going to kill the player so that they have a, the chance to respawn on the new spawn. So this line changes the team player's team color, which changes the team. This gets the character from workspace, and this line kills the character. And so, okay guys, before you test it, just go ahead and come into the choosing team and make sure that it is honorable auto assignable or you will um, when you spawn you will spawn as a nothing so now if the leaderboard there you go we see we're on the choosing team and if we click the red one we switch to the red rockets and since we killed ourselves we will spawn here um, if you do not want to kill the player after they switch their team it doesn't really matter if you do or not but if you want to be kind to your players, then what you will do is you will just use basically the same thing we use for this teleporter and um, just move them to the other spawn location. Um, if you need help doing that, I can make a video on it if you want, but I probably will not put it in this video. Okay, so now the blue one will be easy we just have to copy the script and change it to bright blue that's simple enough but the problem is this GUI is in our face the whole time and you don't really want that so we are going to make sure that it only gives you this GUI when you spawn 
which this should be a whole separate video but I will upload it today so be sure to rate comment subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video which will be shorter and so short in fact that I might actually just show you guys how to make them teleport to the spawn but this video is already running over so I'll catch you guys in the next video which will be posted today because that will be kind of lame to leave this tutorial half unfinished so I'll catch you guys in a little bit and goodbye.